We're going to talk about factoring. Solving by factoring is very famous and we're going to do um, a quicker way to factor. So in this case, here's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply the first number and the last number, so in this case 2 and negative 9 to get negative 18 and we're going to write it in our big X picture right here. Then the coefficient of x is negative 3, and I wrote it on the bottom. And we're going to think of two numbers that multiply to negative 18, but add to negative 3. In this case, the numbers are negative 6 times 3. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to open two parentheses. We're going to have an x and an x, because that's how you get x squared. You're going to have negative 6 and positive 3, because those are the numbers that we chose. Then we're going to take the first coefficient, which is the coefficient of x squared, always the first number, and we're going to divide our numbers that we figured out. In this case, you'll have to reduce if it's reducible. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. This one is not reducible, so in this case, we'll take the bottom, make it a coefficient. And bottom up. Take the bottom, put it up before x as a coefficient. Then you're going to solve each one. This is the factor form of this one. Since it's equal to 0, we have to keep going to factor it out because of that equals 0 sign. So we're, we're going to say that x minus 3 equals to 0 because if two things are multiplied, it gives you the 0 one of the multiples have to be 0. Or 2x plus 3 equals 0. By adding 3 to both sides, you would figure out that x equals 3. By subtracting 3 from both sides in this one, you would have 2x equals negative 3. Dividing by 2 would get you a final answer, negative 3 over 2. So you have two answers. You have x equals 3 and x equals negative 3 over 2. That means both of those answers, if you plug it in the actual equation, you would get 0.